Let's take a peek at this. Everybody. Today we're going to be cutting open a bunch of ugly Lake Superior egg nodules to see if there's beauty inside. Let's get cutting. So we got our first five of many of these ugly agate nodules. Some of them I think are agate nodules, they might be quartz nodules, or they might end up being nothing. Some of them are mystery rocks, like this guy. It looks like it potentially could be kind of mossy, or it's nothing. But not gonna know unless we find out. So we're cutting open a bunch and hopefully learning a bunch today to know what to pick up and what not to pick up. So let's check out our first five cuts. This one was quick. It's a beautiful nodule right here. You can kind of see, I'm like, ah, oh, I bet it's a little quartzy. Oh, it's like banded quartz. It's so pretty. Definitely has some agate. Agate bands up here, more kind of layered banded quartz. That's actually really cool. I really like that. I'm gonna keep that one. See this guy. Oh, that is cool. It's kind of a paint agate. Opaque, that's pretty. I really, really like that one. It fractured a little bit, but we can work that out in the polishing process. See this guy? Yeah, I could tell this one was extremely quartzy. I mean, you can tell from the outside, but good to know, right? Some of these I find, I'm like, I don't know if they're anything or not. And eh, I don't know, maybe low-grade chalcedony with quartz. I find these ones a lot and I think, gosh, that sure looks like an egg and nodule. It looks like a little potato. It's waxy, so smooth, and just nothing going on inside. This one is obviously a dead giveaway for a uh, classic Lake Superior egg and nodule. So hopefully there's some... Oh, that is pretty. Some quartz bands. Oh, that's nice. Wish there's a little less quartz, but we'll take what we can get. <laughs> so we are gonna just be trucking through cuts in this. No rhyme or reason for grabbing anything, just random grabs. And we'll try to do, you know, a handful at a time, cut and show. was quick cuts very quick cuts on these here's a limonite stained one I believe it's an agate oh that is very pretty it's like almost it reminds me of sea agate it's definitely got some bands going on in there that is super pretty i'm gonna keep that one well this one opened up on us let's check this one out oh boy look at that that's purple, it's like a little, I don't know if I would say amethyst, maybe a little fluorite chunk. Well, because it's got amethyst, I suppose I gotta keep that one. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Let's see, this one cut in a millisecond. Quartz, very quartzy. Just trying down here, but not, not really. Oh, this one opened up as well. This one I knew was nothing as soon as I started cutting it. Sometimes these waxy ones, they throw me off a little bit. It's like, what if it's low grade or it's hiding something inside? Let's cut it. Maybe avoid those ones when I'm out rock hunting next time. This one, oh gosh. If you like look close to it, it's got a lot of really pretty, oh, I didn't see much. Really pretty details in it. So hopefully there's something in there. Holy moly. Oh, oh, oh. These pockets in here of quartz are purple. Oh my gosh, ugly nodule. So beautiful inside. I can't wait to polish this. That is crazy. The comp like the contrast between the yellow, the orange and the purple and even a little bit of green. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> that is sweet. Let me zoom in on that so you can get a really, really good look at its perfection. Oh my gosh. That is sweet. Amethyst quartz among there. Just. That's got so much going on. Oh, that is a keeper for sure. Our next five is. I have no idea what this is. This actually doesn't remind me of nodule but i was like we're gonna be cutting a bunch of weird ones let's just cut it open <laughs> again with this it's very waxy it's translucent maybe it's just like some layer jasper or something funky and these three are for sure egg nodules you can tell they are by the way they look <laughs> they got that waxy exterior we'll just check these out for no rhyme or reason this one i know is absolutely nothing because of how quickly it cut. If it was an agate, it would not have cut so quickly. But it's so pretty though. It's got some cool stuff going on in there. It's definitely, definitely seems rich in silica in some spots, other, other areas not so much. This one was a quick one. It's gonna be quartz. Got a little bit of sprays right here. Interesting. We got a little peek. Look at how pretty that is. I'm not sure what that is. It's definitely not agate. If you know what it is, this is a Minnesota mineral. I do not know exactly what that is. Maybe some variation of Jasper or something. It's cool. I like it. I was hoping to miss the quartz, so I tried to scoot it over that way. Ah, oh, totally quartz in there. I I really hope this one is sweet. As you can see, it's got a gorgeous husk to it. It's got some amethyst right there, maybe smoky. Oh, that has got so much going on in there. Not traditional bands, but very, very unique. I think that would be a fun one to get polished and see it with that mirror shine. So here's our next batch of cutters. We got three for sure agates. We'll see what kind of quality they are. Two maybes and two mystery rocks. So. I'm just going to cut them open and show you. Got them all cut. I don't know. Some of them are kind of confusing. Like this one. This one is really, really hard. So it kind of gave me a little hope. But maybe it's just a really hard rock. Huh. You know what? That's yeah, interesting. It reminds me. And it's very waxy. Reminds me of a moss agate. But I don't know. Not much going on in that one. And then the other big one. Um, as it got wet, the husk, husk kind of revealed itself, and I was like, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's a good one. Oh, that's interesting. I'm not sure what you would call that. I don't know if I would call that an agate. It was very hard. And I'm not saying agate like with the traditional bands, like it's some other weird variation, you know. But who knows? I think that's kind of pretty. This guy right here, this was a super quick cut, so I'm guessing it's like those other ones, just, yeah, it's kind of a funky wannabe. Oh, a little bit of smoky going on in there. It's kind of a quartz nodule, just really low grade. Kill Sydney, maybe? I don't know. This guy, interesting. It's cool. It's almost got like little, little speckly platelets in there. I find stuff like this all the time and I always wonder because like you can see stuff like that. It's like it looks kind of agity. Not much going on in there. So maybe not worth to grab. You know what I mean? We'll get to these ones here that I thought were for sure agate nodules. Maybe not. I think it's it's trying, but it's really, really, really low grade. This one was kind of hard, so I just wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if there'd be bands in here or not. Oh yes! <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that makes me happy. That is so cool. Classic Lake Superior agate with fractures, but it's not too bad. I think that'd be a fun one to polish. Oh, that's probably one of my favorites so far. That is so, so pretty. Love, love, love that. The course in there is beautiful. And this one, I was like, this is one I'm really excited about. I've been excited to cut for a long time. Cut it such a fast cut so now I'm not too hopeful oh it's got it's got some bands 
That's actually really pretty. Really unique down in here as well. It's not bad. I'm not going to complain. I can find the beauty in it. Nice little bands. Be an easy polish too because there's so much quartz. <laughs> so I'll keep that one as well. Alright, so I gave you kind of a bonus cut. <laughs> it's a huge piece of Jasper. Um, I saw this one open up on us. Let's take a peek. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. Holy moly. Look at that parallax banding in that. That just turned this little banded purple agate, not amethyst, just purple, into a premium agate because of that parallax banding. Oh, that's going to be a fun one to polish. Oh, that that's probably one of my favorites. Sweet. That's so cool. This one, totally quartz. Yeah, quartz. I mean, it looks like quartz. This one opened up a little bit. Gunk! Let's see, same with this guy. Kinda gunk. I think we're leaning more towards, more of them are duds over studs. Hoo hoo though, look at that little beauty. I love the husk on this one. So cool. So pretty, little beauty. I wasn't sure what to think about this one either. Oh, that's really unique. Just a total mess in there, but so beautiful. I'm gonna keep that one. And our last little itty bitty baby nodule. Fractures all over in it. It's pretty though. This side might be worth polishing. If it stays together. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, our big bonus cut. This is a giant chunk of Jasper. I just thought I'd cut it quick. It wasn't quick, but I thought I'd cut it and just show you, see what it looks like on the inside. It was a tough cut with uh, our thin centered blade, but woohoo! That's pretty. Love it over here and here. That's so pretty. All right, folks, we got. One, two, three, four, five left. I don't know what to think about these two, but I'm most excited about these two, so I'm gonna save these two for last. I guess I'm really excited about this one too, but we'll do what we do, we'll cut and show. I find pieces like this all the time and they don't they just I think this is just Kel Sydney just pure Kel Sydney nothing going on in there maybe if we I mean it looks like it has some lighter stuff I don't know I think it'd be fun to polish it though just to see the depth so we'll keep that one what a stinker what a stinker, it fractured out on me. I was so excited about this one, no! Right, oh gosh, it's a huge fracture. So I'll pull away, oh, I'll pull away like this. We'll look at the fracture side first. Oh, it's because there's so much moss or like just gunk going on over here. I was really hopeful for this one. It's so unique. I'm gonna cut on this side one more time just to see. Um, if there's anything, because the husk is so pretty. I'm just gonna cut it quick one more time. Man, this thing's just destined to fracture out. Well, that's prettier. Man, look at that huge fracture. Unique, unique for sure. I don't know. I don't know if that one's worth polishing. Let me know if you would or not. All right, this guy right here, I found in the North Shore River. I was like, ah, I don't know. Feels like a nodule. I bet you. I hope this is just a top layer of quartz, but I bet you there's no bands inside. I bet it's moss or fragmented agate or fragmented membrane agate. Those are my guesses.
Hard to say with this one. It was kind of quick, but kind of hard at the same time. Huh. Literally doesn't look like anything. I like that it's green. That's so weird. Very unique. I, I really have no idea. This one threw me off. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, we got two of these little beauties left. I'm hopeful. I can see that there's quartz. But the husk is so pretty. Hopefully it's not quartz. And then we'll cut this guy. I've been holding off on cutting this one for a super long time. Um, I really hope it's pretty. I love the husk on it. So, I don't know. <laughs> we'll cut this one first. Second to last cut. So quartzy. It's smoky. Smoky quartz. I guess that's not too disappointing. Beautiful husk with smoky quartz inside. I'll take it. <laughs> Not too bad. I was hopeful. I showed you that husk. It's got some sweet eyes and stuff all over it. Not bad. Smoky quartz. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Let's do our last one. We'll peel the band-aid. We'll peel it. Oh my gosh, this is, that was definitely like the hardest cut and the one I was most nervous about. <laughs> and it didn't uh, fracture out at the end at all, so I was so happy. So let's take a peek at this. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's the best cut of the whole batch. It's my favorite. Oh my gosh. There's no fractures in there at all. Oh my gosh. Look at how beautiful that is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Light parallax banding up in here. The banding is so tight. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm so glad we cut it the way we did. Trust the gut. Oh, that is so unique. So sweet. Just love that. How those layers just go like that and come up here. What a stud. What a great way to end our cutting session. Oh, that is so, so, so great. So cool. Oh my gosh. I'm just over the moon about this. This is so fun. So awesome, cool. So I'm back inside, I'm all warmed up now and I had a ton of fun cutting open all of those ugly agate nodules. I hope that you seeing those can kind of help you when you're out rock hounding, look at them and go, maybe that's not worth picking up or maybe I should pick that one up and cut it open because it could be hiding some beauty inside. And a lot of those ugly agate nodules were hiding beauty inside and I had so much fun cutting them open and seeing that beauty. It was a blast. I had a fun sharing it with you and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.